Hi, my name is Christina, and today I will be going over some search strategies for the Owensboro Area Obituary Index provided by the Kentucky Room at the Davis County Public Library. To access the index, you'll start from the library's homepage at dcplibrary.org and click on the Genealogy tab. From there, under Local History, you'll click on the link that says Owensboro Area Obituary Index. As you can see from the homepage, the index is separated into three time periods. 1842 to 1919, 1920 to 1989, and 1990 to present. Listed underneath the date ranges are all the fields that are filled out for the records in this date range. Some of these records will have more of the fields filled out and some of them will have less. So first, you will click on the date range that you want to search for. This gives you the option to search by last name, first name, and obituary year and or month. Next to the names, you can pull down these fields here and you can either search by exact spelling that you put in, the Soundex code letters, find any names that are similar to the name you've put in, or you can search by the first few letters of the last name. These are especially useful for names that are spelled multiple ways or that are difficult to spell as sometimes the newspapers and the indexers put the names in incorrect. You can also search by the last name and first name and the obituary year if you know that in order to narrow down your results. Clicking on advanced search will open up more fields such as place of death, place of birth, cemetery, and cause of death. You can also put in a shorter date range to search through. Let's do a practice search. We are going to try to find an obituary for an Augustus Clary who died sometime in 1916 in Alaska. So under last name, we're going to put Clary, and the obituary date, we'll put 1916. And we know he died in Alaska, so we're going to put the state abbreviation for that and hit search. This brings up the record for Gus Clary. The place of death is Alaska, and he died in April 1916. And by looking at his list of survivors, we know that this is the right one, since we know these are his family members. Over here under comments, we get a little bit more biographical information. And we also see that there is another article mentioning Gus in the paper. To find out where in the newspaper it was, we go up here to source, where it says OM 411 1916. To figure out which newspaper this is, we can go up to the About tab and scroll down. About halfway down the page, you'll find something called the source codes for the newspapers. We look here, OM stands for the Owensboro Messenger. So now we know that the obituary for Augustus Clary was on April 11th, 1916 in the Owensboro Messenger. If at any time you need any help or would like to request some articles and an obituary, you can scroll up to the top to the contact tab, fill out the form, and submit it. This will go to the email address for the Kentucky Room and a staff member will respond. Thanks for watching and happy hunting!